Apostle Dr. Brooke Crawford invites you to their Bible study free conference. Call every Saturday from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. You can call 701-802-5485. It's access code 629-5500-POUND. Her ministry, the International Intercessory Covenant Prayer Ministry, prays for salvation, healing, and deliverance. Her book titled, The Church That Makes the Difference, will bless your hearts. Order your copy today, 323-717-0444. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. And thank you for joining the authentic word. Once again, God has a mighty, powerful, encouraging word for you again today about the power, the power of his word. Wow. And the glory that his word will bring to your life. And, you know, last time we talked about the uh, cleansing of the word, the healing of the word. The word will heal you of anything. And, you know, God and all his faithfulness and that word, you are his. That word lives on the inside of you. You are full of life because of that word. The word gives life. It gives renewed, refreshed life. And, you know, if you're down and depressed, that word will lift you up. That, that word will cause that depression, that distress, that sadness, that grief, whatever emotion that you're feeling that's a negative emotion, the word can take that away. The word will bring healing. Hallelujah. It bring cleansing. And he, Jesus said this. In John 15, he said, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask whatever you will and it shall be done. So that's how powerful, how important the word is. Wow. Okay. So let me just pray for you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, let this word penetrate. Let this word go in deeply. Cause them to remember this word by getting into the word, rereading it again, meditating on the word that you're going to give them today. And so I am blessed and honored, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you have afforded me another privilege to minister the truth, the word of God, the authentic word. Hallelujah. This is the authentic word. And so in Jesus' name, I pray this prayer and I thank you, Lord. Hallelujah again and again. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray. And so I want God to just really bless your socks off today because he can do that. Your socks will just fall off all by themselves. <laughs> Praise God. Why? Because of the goodness, the goodness of his word, the healing balm of his word. He is the healing bomb. Wow. Praise God. Praise the Lord Jesus. He is the healing bomb. He is the one. There's no other. There's none besides him. Wow. None like him. He's in a class all by himself. Matter of fact, he's not in no class. He's not limited. He's the almighty God. He created and made everything. Hey, yeah. Glory to his wonderful matchless name there's nothing you can match his name to wow there's nobody like him none you can look and search everywhere and you will find no one nothing like Jesus hallelujah so I just want to let's just turn to 
Let's turn to Psalms 103 and the chapter of Psalms 103. You know, Psalms have 150 chapters uh, and they just flow. They all just really go together. And it doesn't matter what state you're in. If you read the Psalms, you're, you're, you're going to get convicted, but you're going to get freed from that. You're, you're going to be delivered. You're going to, you, you're, you're just no burdens, you know, no distress, no s depression. And you, you may feel like that when you first start or, you know, you can pick what you need to read. You, you select what, what will really minister to your soul, that will really minister to your mind and to your spirit because the Word of God, no matter where you read it at, it, it's, it's going to inform you. It's going to give you understanding. It's going to give you wisdom. It's going to give you knowledge. And there's so much knowledge in this book. And, but it, it's not just all connected together. You have to search it out. God said, whoever searches for me, I will let them find me. Hey, yeah, hallelujah. And so if you have a good pastor or teacher or someone that can guide you through the word and teach you the power of the word. Wow. So we're having another part two of the power of the word. Praise the Lord. So in Psalms 103, and starting in verse, well, let's start in verse 1. And in 103, 1, verse 1, it says this, Bless the Lord, O my soul. <laughs> See, bless the Lord. When you start blessing the Lord with all of your soul, hallelujah, he said, and all that is within me, you do it with all of your might, all of your soul, all of your strength. Oh, you bless his holy name because his name is holy. His name is full of power. His name is full of healing. His name is full of deliverance. His name will deliver you out of destruction. You know, we talked about that the last time. The power of the word, the word will deliver you out of destruction. And so God in all of his faithfulness, he says here, bless the Lord, O my soul. Wow. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Look at verse two. Verse two says, bless the Lord, O my soul. Forget not all his benefits, the benefits of the power of his word. Wow. The benefits of the power. Hey, yeah, look at that. There's so many countless benefits of the power of the word. Wow. And healing and deliverance. Wow. Cleansing, abiding in him. That's just to name a few. Well, that's not even a few. That's what? Good for Three or four. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he said, forgiveth all your iniquities. The power of the word, what does it do? It forgives you. It forgives your iniquities. It forgives you. Long-term sins, sins you inherited from your ancestors all the way up. And sins that maybe transgressions that you're currently maybe in. God said, look. Do it with all of your heart and all your mind to ask me to forgive you, and I will do it. I'll wash him away. I won't even remember. That's the power of the word of God. Hallelujah. So he says, who healeth all your diseases. What did I tell you? He said, that's the, one of the benefits. He'll forgive you of all your sins. What else he'll do? He'll heal you of all your diseases. Doesn't matter what disease, doesn't matter whether it's a new disease, an old disease, a current disease, a reoccurring disease. No, God says there's nothing he cannot heal. There's nothing that he cannot do. He is God. He has all the power. All the power is his and he puts his power in us. Hallelujah. Praise God. So he says, I'll heal all your diseases. And look at verse four. Wow. 
who redeem your life from destruction. No. He's going to take you out of all the destruction. Whatever destructive place you've been in or on your way to, turn around and say, no, Lord, I don't want that anymore. I want to live a life that's pleasing to you. I want your Holy Spirit to come in and teach me your ways, your word, and he will guide you. He will lead you where you can go to a place, a Bible study, a church, a ministry, or whatever that will teach you how you can use the word to, to bring victory, to bring recovery, to bring healing, bring deliverance. Everything you need can be activated by the word of God and the power of that awesome word and who crowned you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Wow. He said he is going to make sure that you are crowned. You are crowned. Why is he going to crown you? Because you're kings and priests unto the Lord. And a priest has a crown and kings have crowns. So when you are a king and a priest, you're going to be crowned with what? Crowned with loving kindness and tender mercies. Wow. He crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. You're going to be a tender hearted person, but you're going to be strong still. You know, you're going to be bold and very courageous, but you're going to be tender hearted. You're going to be full of mercy. Mercy is the kindness that people receive even if they don't deserve it. That's how you're going to be. You're going to give it to them, even though you know they didn't deserve it. Wow, look at Jesus and his goodness. He said, I'm going to crown you with that. Loving kindness and tender mercies. You're going to be kind. You're going to be a kind person. People are going to really like you because you're kind. And, you know, kindness also includes being compassionate, being understanding, being sympathetic toward a person's situation and circumstance. You can show kindness through all of that. And so God and all of his loving kindness and tender mercies, real tender, you know, like a newborn baby is very tender or a new pup, you know, and you're like, oh, you don't want to make sure you don't hurt them in any way. And that's how you are. That's the new you. That's the new creature in Christ Jesus. That's what the word of God will do to you. He changes your character. He changes your nature. If you were not that kind of gentle, kind person before, you're going to become that. That's who the real you is anyway. Praise God. He created you to, to be like that. And that loving kindness and that tender mercies. See, you're full of love. The love of Jesus is in him. That love is in you. That is the power of the word. Love is the most powerful force in all of the world and all of the universe. And that was Jesus' love that when he came and paid that price on that faithful day, he persevered until he became the ripe age to be willing to lay down his life to sacrifice so that you and I could have eternal life with him for all eternity. Wow, praise you, Jesus. So his loving kindness, his faithfulness, all of his goodness and his mercy, wow, will just begin to just flow through your life, is being implemented in your life. He, he releases his loving kindness and his faithfulness and all of his goodness and mercy Wow, there is no end to it. He said, blessings without an end. That's what the word will do. The word is that powerful. You'll just keep being blessed with no end to it. There's no end to the blessings of the flow of 
the goodness of God is from everlasting, he says, to everlasting, all eternity. And eternity is right now. You're already living in that place of eternity, but you're going to live in eternity in heaven as well. And so Jesus, he is so faithful with his love and with that power, that power of his love. Hallelujah. Praise God. So never feel that you're not loved. Why? Because all of the love of Jesus is, is inside of you through his powerful, powerful spirit, the spirit of love, the spirit of faith, the spirit of joy and peace, all of the wonderful fruits of the Holy Spirit. That is what Jesus is. That is what Jesus is all about. He, his goodness, it never fails. It never ends. There's never no beginning or end to it. It's, it's just continual. It has no beginning and it has no end. It's like your wedding band, your, your re wedding rings. That's why the wedding ring is so symbolic of the love between you and this person that you made a decision to dedicate yourself to. Why? Because it, the ring has no beginning and it has no end. It just continues on. That love will just continue. And it, it's in that private little circle between the two of you. You two are agreeing. So that's why you take your time, you pray and ask God to show you who that person should be in your life. Wow, you just don't run and jump the gun, maybe because they're wealthy, maybe because they're good looking, maybe because they got a lot of money. No, you do it because there's the real, eternal, genuine love that you have for that person that's special. That's a special unity, a special covenant. And you know, today people get so accustomed to just getting married and getting divorced, getting married, getting divorced. No, God said it wasn't like that in the beginning, but he has allowed it. But when you are truly in love with the Lord Jesus Christ, you never want that relationship to ever end. There is never a time when you want it over. You never want it over. Why? Because the loving kindness and the tenderness that he will continue to release to you and flow to you, and you will flow it back to him. And the faithfulness of that. Wow, the faithfulness of his word that his word always, whatever you send, hey, yeah, the word of God to, it will accomplish that which you have sent it to. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because that word is powerful, that word is gentle, and yet it is firm, it is faithful, it will continue, it will never stop, you can trust it. You can depend on the power of the love of God, the love of Jesus. That's why he paid the price. That's why he said, I'm going to come back and get you. That's why he said, my word is faithful. My word is true. The truth is what makes us free. When we believe the truth, when you accept the truth, and when you walk in that truth, that truth will work for you. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. Now let's look at another verse. This is so wonderful in this Psalms 103. And so now we're in verse 5, and he says, who satisfy your mouth with good things. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about food. <laughs> I'm talking about spiritual food. Your mouth will be satisfied with spiritual food as well. So when you eat that spiritual food, 
which is what I've been talking about, which is the word of God. Wow. You're going to be satisfied. You're, you're going to be totally fulfilled, totally satisfied. Whoa. Why? Because your mouth is going to be full of good things. Good things. And not just food. I'm talking about the words that your mouth is going to speak. The words that's going to come out of your mouth. And what did God say about the mouth? He said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Where is your tongue? It is in your mouth. Your mouth is a powerful tool. Your mouth is what speaks the word. Your mouth is what releases the victory of the word. Your mouth is what causes it to activate. Hey, yeah! Because the word of God is activated by your mouth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The word of God is activated by your mouth. You must speak it. You must say what you mean and mean what you say. Because your words are effective. And the Lord said this. He said, the effectual fervent mouth, the effectual fervent one who speaks that which is the fervent word of God, he said, it's going to accomplish much. So, wow, look at the power of the word. Your mouth is the tool to execute that power. Hey, yeah, hallelujah, praise you, Jesus. The, your mouth is the tool. Your mouth is the weapon that will annihilate the evil plots and plans of the enemy that, and, and we don't even have to go that deep, you know, it'll just change your outcome of what you're doing when you speak words with the power. When you speak words that are of the word of God, it will cause those things to come to pass what you and I have spoken. And so the power is in your mouth. The power is in your tongue. And the word is that power that we're speaking of. So he said, it'll satisfy your mouth with good things. So that what? So you'll keep, continue to be young. <laughs> you'll be youthful. And he says, and youth is renewed like the eagles. You know, eagles are, are, are very powerful too. And they're symbolic of that power. And he said, you, you're going to be renewed. You're going to be new, renewed in strength. You're going to be re refreshed and renewed in power. And so that's what the word does. The word execute is power and youthfulness in you. And you will continue to stay young. As long as speak it, you know, okay, so you want to go and buy all of this cream and all the stuff, you know, you want to put on your body, on your face. That's good. That's beautiful. And then you'll smell even better. And you'll smell even much better when you speak that word out. Because the word of God, it will change how you look. It can change the molecular structure of your DNA when you speak that word like that, when you encourage others and encourage yourself with the word, it will literally change the DNA structure in your body and your skin will look more youthful and the glory of God will shine through you. That's another thing the word does. The word anoints you with the glory of God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So you speak those wonderful words to the Lord. You tell him how amazing and wonderful he is. And the more you talk to him that way, the more of his glory is going to be upon you. The more you worship him, the more you praise him, the more you honor him, 
the more the glory will be manifested. Hallelujah. The more your life is going to change for the better. Wow. And you're going to continue to watch the authentic word because the authentic word is the power of the word of God. Hallelujah. So I, I'm just honored and blessed again to know that you have joined me and I'm looking forward to you joining me once again and I'll see you next time and you be blessed and Father God in the mighty name of Jesus just bless all of those have heard your word today and to activate your word and receive it. Believe, receive and obey. God bless you and I'll see you next time. Shalom, shalom.